Entropy is a quantity used to help determine the direction of a process. Usually when there's no interactions, the system will go to a state of higher entropy. And let me explain a little bit what entropy is all about. If you have a bunch of people randomly milling around on a football field, the way you'll tend to find them is all spread out across the field rather than pushed all into one corner. This is a uh, manifestation of entropy, that there's more ways to find the people spread out across the field than uh, pushed into one corner. So uh, you go to the state of higher entropy, which is being spread out across the football field. Now, uh, this relates to protein folding and the idea that there are more ways for a, a protein chain to be extended and be flopping around than to be compact and in the folded state. So in this sense, entropy represents a barrier to protein folding, something that the protein has to overcome. Now, how is this overcome? If there are forces in the system, then you can overcome the entropy. This is a lot like having a bunch of football players on the football field pushing everybody into one corner. Even though the people want to mill around, the football players are, are a force or an energy uh, pushing them, uh, causing them to overcome the entropy barrier. Likewise, in a protein chain, there are all kinds of interactions along the chain that cause it to fold up on itself and hence overcoming entropy. Now there's a more subtle effect of entropy in protein folding that you think about only when you think about the, the, the idea that a protein folds in the presence of water. And when you determine the direction the system's going to go in, you also have to consider the entropy of the water. So if you can find a way to have higher entropy in the water, then that'll uh, contribute to the direction that the process will go. Now a protein chain has hydrophobic or water avoiding portions. When water has to come next to these, these portions, the, the entropy of the water is decreased and so this is unfavorable. In order to increase the entropy of the water and drive protein folding, we can collapse, hide those hydrophobic portions from the water inside the collapsed protein. So in that sense, entropy actually helps to drive protein folding.